Hi, and welcome to the presentation of our C5DK blog package. We have added a lot of new functionality such as, a blog editor system, where written, articles can be approved, postponed and managed. In this presentation, I will try to explain what we have achieved with all this new functionality. We can now support both simple blog sites and advanced news center sites. And on this example site, we have tried to explain all aspects from a standard blog, a more advanced blog, and a news site with all the functionality enabled. Our blog package will also fully integrate with the multilingual system inside Concrete 5, and by that being able to have users creating blog articles on multiple languages pages. You will even be able to control the permissions for users on the different languages. But because we can do all these things, there is a lot of settings to consider. So, let's log in to the site and see how it looks behind the scenes. I will log in as the administrator and go to the settings page in the dashboard for our C5DK blog package. You will find it down here. Let's start with going to the default settings page. In here we are able to configure all the looks and feel of the package. But I will not go much further into this here. I'll only explain the headlines. Under image and thumbnail we can set up picture upload save size, thumbnail save size and set our default thumbnail. The default thumbnail image is used in situations where a blog writer do not supply a thumbnail. That way you will always be sure that a blog has a thumbnail. We have some styling possibilities for some of our block templates, and for the CK editor we have some settings independent from the settings in the core Concrete 5. In here we also control the blog user file and image manager. It is completely separate from the file manager in the dashboard of Concrete 5. Now, let's talk about blog routes. You will be able to have multiple blog root pages all over your site. And each blog root can have its own settings. It is here you can enable or disable functionality and control the permissions for that blog root. And as you see here, the simple standard blog root has less functionality enabled than the full news system on the news blog root. This system makes configuring your blog system very flexible, and you will be able to enable new functionality over time, when you are ready to use them, on your site. But, let's see how it all works. I will now log out of the site and log in as a news writer. This time I'll log in as Jane Doe. As you see, there is no Concrete 5 editor bar at the top, but down below you can see that Jane Doe is logged in. This means that she is not an administrator. Let's go to the news page. Here on the news route page, we now have access to the new post button. Let's click on it. We have tried to make a design of the blog article writer page as simple as possible. So the blog writer do not need to know a lot of technical stuff to be able to write blogs. The blog writer will be able to jump between different blog routes, but it will be set default to the page from where you click the new post button. I can set up my publish date and time. I do this by clicking the field, and pick a date, and a time. If unpublished date and time is enabled, you can do the same here. If you set this, your blog article will be unpublished automatically on the sat time. But now, let's write our blog. I'll start with the title. I will call this article, C5DK. Is writing a news article. I also need to write a description. And for this demonstration, I'll use some lorem ipsum text. And because this is just an example, I'll do the same for my blog article content. So, when I have my text, I'll also add an image. 
First, I'll make some space for it, and then I'll click on the image icon on the editor bar, and here you will see the blog user image manager. I will just pick the image of my dog. I am now finished with my blog article content. And I will add some tags to my blog article. The tags is not special for our blog package. The tags system is standard in Concrete 5. I'll write the name of my dog, Vitis. And add the tag, my dog. I'll also add the, example blog tag, and C5DK news system. Ok, enough tags. Let's now assign a topic to this blog article. I will just assign there, vacation topic. And I will create a new thumbnail for this article. And as you see here, we have been giving you a very powerful, but yet simple thumbnail editor, toolbox. That's it. Now, let's post our new article. And here it is, the blog article is written and posted. As you see here on this blog article page, it is constructed out of several function blocks. Such as writer's biography, user attributes. But, let's head back to the news article list. The first you will see, is that your newly created article has a colored background. And it says, that this article is unpublished, or unapproved. That leads us to the editor system. I will now log into the site as an editor user. But remember, this is only necessary if the approve post system is enabled. My editor user is, mini me. When the editor is logged in, he, or she, has to go the blog root page. Here the editor will have access to the blog editor manager. But he, or she, will also have more direct access on the blog article page itself. In here the editor will be able to directly approve this page. He will also be able to edit the posted article if needed. And of course, he, or she, will also be able to delete the article page. But, I will not approve this article directly. I will use their, blog editor manager. And in here, I will choose the blog route I need to manage. And I can see here, that I have an article that is not approved. But before approving the article, I have several options to consider. I can set the publish, and unpublish date and time. And set a priority for where, on my site, I want my article to appear. I'll make this article, a top story. It doesn't matter if more than one is there. It will use the newest article according to the filter settings in the page list where it is shown. Let's hit the grey save button, and click the orange button to approve the article. And jump back to the site to see the result. Oops, I have made a mistake setting up this page list. Fortunately, I have a better example on the blog example page. Here in the first page list, I show the latest top story. And down below, I have a page list showing the breaking news. Here it's kind of necessary to understand the Concrete 5 Topics system. Let's look at the Editor Manager page again. The priority system in our blog, is simply using the core Concrete 5 Topics system, to enabling Tropics filtering in the page lists. This concludes my introduction of our latest version of the blog package. And I really hope you get good use of all the new functionality. Then there is only one thing left for me to say. And it's goodbye, and, have a really nice day.